takes you up and down constantly. It's always playing games with you. And it's one of the most powerful games it plays with you is always tells you you're not good enough. You're not worthy enough. How many times you hear this in your own head? You want to do something, whatever it is, you want to start learning a language, you want to learn something, something on internet. Ah, look at you. You're not good enough. You're not smart enough. You're not pretty enough. You're too old. That's the first thing you hear in your head. Maybe you hear it in the form of the voice of your dad or your or mom or sister, but you hear that and you buy it. You buy it and it drags you down, you crash. And it doesn't matter. You have a lot of money, it doesn't matter you're successful, it doesn't matter you look great, it doesn't matter you have an airplane, you have cars, boats, whatever it is, it doesn't matter what you have, you're not free. Because wherever you go, you have to carry your mind with you. That's one thing you cannot escape from. And it doesn't matter how much you decorate yourself on the outside. You look amazing. You look fantastic. Everybody's telling you how great you look, how wonderful you are. They're kissing your butt, whatever. They're throwing money at you or you're famous or whatever it is. It doesn't matter. Wherever you go, you have to carry your mind with you. And if your mind is wicked, and you haven't mastered it, then you're a prisoner wherever you go. It's just like that. But the thing is, most of us been doing it all of our lives that it's become normal. You think, you don't even think about it, you don't question it, you don't think like it's something wrong. You go to the psychologist, psychiatrist, you take pills, you read books, we go to some workshops, we do some inner work, but it's not substantial. It's not complete. Because we don't get to the roots of it. It's half ass. Most of us, I know it because I work with people all the time, constantly. This is what I do. It's my profession now. I do it professionally. I get paid for it. It's very being straightforward. I get paid to work with people to help them free themselves. This is what I do. I do it every day. And I meet people from all walks of life, every kind, from young to older, from all sorts of people that super spiritual or people who are new to this. It's the same shit, same shit, always. Everybody's suffering from their mind. And the pseudo spirituality, the new age, the new way of spirituality is completely ill equipped to be able to help him. It cannot help him. It cannot um, <laughs> just, just one moment. Excuse me. Uh, it's all right. I just continue. Yeah. It's the new, new way, new system of spirituality is exactly the opposite of what people need. Completely opposite. It's just like you have a wound 
and they put putting more salt on it or they put lemon you squeeze some lemon on someone's wound that's the new spirituality now it it doesn't do anything for you it just pushes you further away from where you want to get because i haven't found anybody in past all these years not even one person in all these years that i've been in this search of self-realization and been around all the gurus and i went to some of really good ones the big ones they they're not around anymore I've been around a lot of spiritual people, a lot of seekers. I've been a seeker for a long time and I've been teaching for past 10, 11, 12 years. I have not found one single person who comes to self-realization from pseudo spirituality. Pseudo spirituality has not produced one enlightened person yet it's extremely popular because it sounds good the idea that your co-creator partner with with god and you have the ability to also create your reality because you're God and you can create your reality with your positive thinking, positive visualization by the power of your mind. It's just pure bullshit. It keeps you in a prison. It doesn't produce any enlightened people because you can't get enlightened by using your mind and empowering your mind by positive thinking, positive visualization. Oh, I'm manifesting a new car. I'm going to manifest a new boyfriend. I'm going to manifest a new girlfriend. I'm manifesting my reality. Manifesting your reality with your mind means you're activating your thoughts, your thinking. You're thinking, thinking, thinking. You're constantly mind fucking. It's a system of mind fucking, activating your mind. And your mind is what tortures you. You're being tortured every day because of your mind, because your mind tells you you're not good enough. You're not pretty enough. You're not worthy enough. These are thoughts in your mind. Nobody comes and knocks on your door every day and gives you a certificate of ugliness. Oh, Zarathustra, you're really ugly. Zarathustra, you're so stupid. I'm the only one tell myself I'm stupid or I'm not worthy or I'm not good enough. No one else tells you that. So it means that it's a product of my mind and my imagination and my conditioning. Now, why would I want to make this mind stronger by exercising it? I've already exercised it from age seven. I went to school all the way to the end of my college years. So it was like 12 and four, five, about 17, 18 years. I've been exercising my mind and I to, to, <laughs> I have to tell you something, honestly, I don't remember anything I studied. I don't remember anything I studied in, in elementary school. I don't remember anything I studied in high school and I don't remember anything I studied in college. I cannot remember anything. Maybe I remember one sentence from a physics class. And I remembered the couple of art classes that I took because it was art. The rest, it's completely blank. 